Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how you can directly edit the altitude of a unit. Now this is something that we've wanted for a very long time and we finally got access to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a B-52 here. I'm going to get the correct B-52, which is the B-52 you can see over there in the upper right corner. We'll load up on bombs. Now conventionally, if you wanted this guy to lose some altitude, you'd be the map editor like me, you'd press min altitude, you'd hit the space bar button, and you'd watch the B-52 do a bunch of power donuts. And then you can see about, I don't know, six minutes later, he's down in the right altitude. That's okay, though. I really wanted him at 36,000 feet. So you speed up time. And... Da -da 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 uh, nope, still climbing. Da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba so how are you guys doing today? Ah, there we are. Ah, so we started in a scenario at 9.30. It is now 10.17. We burnt a ton of fuel, and this bomber is um, at the altitude we desired. Now, one of the most recent things they've added, if you go up here and see them on 13.28 here, is the ability to directly edit how high a unit is. Now, the nice thing is they actually integrated into something that we've already used before. So what I'm going to do is just to demonstrate how quick this new method is, I'm going to go back to 9.30 in the morning, press the F1 key, go ahead and grab my B-52. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and click on him, right-click on him. Scenario editor, edit unit properties, set unit properties. Ah, let's see here. 1,500 feet, please. Boop. And you can see it drops him down to 1,500 feet. Ah, that's not what I wanted. I actually wanted uh, 40,000 feet. Let's just sneak in here and go boop, 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 boop. Push that button just like that. And you can see we jump up to 40,000 feet. Now, word to the wise, by the way, if I press the F2 key, you have to double check to make sure that the overridden altitude is accurate here. Because um, you can't obviously send this up to 150,000 feet because a B-52 can't do 150,000 feet. Now you're saying, though, wait, is there more? Of course there's more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a lovely submarine here. We're going to get ourselves the SSN Seawolf because, you know, it's the Seawolf. I'm going to go ahead and click on him, right click. We're going to go back to this edit unit properties. And now the problems will start. Oh, by the way, please don't put in fuel for something that doesn't have fuel. It's a nuclear sub. Don't put a number in here, please. Zero feet, press enter, boop. And you can see we are now chilling here on the surface. Probably not the best place for a sub. Now here's where everybody gets in trouble. So I'm going to go to Scenario Editor, Edit Unit Properties, Set Unit Properties. Notice this says Depth, not Altitude. So if you come in here and say minus 99, that's not minus 99 feet. That's 99 feet above the surface because we're dealing with depth here. So instead, if I do 200 feet and press the Enter key, you'll notice that it does nothing because just because they said Depth does not, not mean that they did not mean not Altitude. Let me show you what I mean. So come back in here, I'll do minus 200 feet. Go ahead and close that, and you'll see now we're at minus 200 feet. So you have to remember, if you're going negative, we're going negative, we're going positive, we're going positive. Um, I don't know of any flying submarines, maybe you do, but this one especially doesn't fly. So if I wanted to, of course, I can come back in here, I can say edit uh, unit properties, and I'll show you how clever this thing is. Let's say I want to do a minus 5,000 feet. Keep in mind the water is plenty deep here. I press the enter key, and of course that would crush our little sea wolf into annihilation. You'll notice, indeed, it will tolerate minus 5,000 feet. Now, if I press the F2 key here, by the way, you'll notice we are casually underneath our depth limit here. Now, you're saying that must be some kind of bug or something like that. Well, let's go ahead and unpause. And you'll notice it is indeed not a bug. It is a built-in safety check to make sure that you can't actually get under your maximum depth here. So even if you did some shenanigan like that, the program is smart enough to fix that so that you can't get away with that little oopsie. Same goes over here. If I grab my B-52 real quick, scenario edit unit, I can't naturally do one of these. 120, 123. Aha! See how it says 120,000? Not true. 45,000, because our B-52 can never exceed its maximum ceiling, no matter what silly value you actually put into that display right there. So as you can see, uh, this is a super useful feature. I am so glad that they added this. I can't tell you how many times I have had to run around these scenarios and order everybody to move, then they have to dive, and they have to climb, and they have to dive, they have to climb, and it's a pain. What this new feature does is really gives you the ability to kind of get into the nitty gritty. Uh, one word of warning, like I mentioned before, come back here and double check to make sure these numbers make sense. Otherwise, all your hard work will be instantly undone as the submarine climbs or descends to whatever altitude that it has set in here. Enjoy.